this is point number two. Pay close attention to this and everything. It shows you how things are going with eBay and everything. So we're going to continue the broadcast. Listen close to Flippin' Ain't Easy. Those who are selling in the categories, in this five categories I talked about, but, you know, electronics, cell phone accessories, uh, things of that nature, if you're selling in those categories, you might be negatively affected very much in, in, in the same way that the sellers last year in clothing were affected, except their listings were being taken out altogether. And so um, maybe our listings aren't being seen. That's my conclusion. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, it, it's no coincidence that now this is the second year in a row that eBay has messed with item specifics for a specific category and those sellers in those categories uh, have been uh, hurt and negatively affected because of who knows what they're doing. I was speaking to Joe DeMarco. He has a, uh, a great channel. Uh, I'll put the link uh, here and also down below in the description box. Uh, he seems to think that he has uh, information on this. He's, he's told me he won't tell me what it is, so I will allow him to, to reveal that on his channel. He will probably be releasing a video sometime tonight after 5 o'clock Eastern Time so that it can be sent to my bank. So I'm still playing the waiting game on that. So, you know, I've learned one thing. Never entirely trust what an eBay rep tells you because they may be sort of giving you their best guess and they may not have seen. I've never seen this particular email before. So it very well may be that it turns out just fine. But then again, it may turn out to be that this money is returned back to the original form of payment and the buyer is able to keep this item, which I think is a load of, you can fill in the blanks there. So, uh, yeah, and so that's, that's just sort of adding to my stress level. That's exactly the point, the problem that we had too. <clears throat> you talk to a rep and then you get their two different things and you do exactly what they do, tell you to and then you get punished for it. That was the problem though we had with eBay. One of the many problems we had with eBay and why we have not had that problem with Macari or Poshmark. eBay is uh, such a, a, a sad situation. Uh, listening to different individuals, they were mentioning that, you know, eBay sells of uh, nationwide is down to five or seven percent. If you're making ten million dollars in sales and you're down five percent, that's half a million dollars. So that's a lot of money, and I'm not really surprised the, the problems they had because we were tried we tried so hard to be at eBay, but it's just they're just so upside down. It's just it's it's sad, and I want to show you these videos of different individuals that are struggling, trying real hard to make it work. Like he says in the beginning of his video, it's his livelihood, it's our livelihood too. So that's why it's important that you do, do, you know, take advantage of Macari and Poshmark, and we hope that they stay good. Way down. And, you know, part of, part of this, when you're in this sort of a mode where your, your sales are down, and you, you know, you're continuing to list, because that's really all as sellers we can do, is just keep listing, right? But we also look at the numbers, we're trying to make sense of it, trying to figure out maybe there's something different that we can do. Maybe uh, there's a, a glitch on eBay's end. And I'm starting to think it's more uh, a glitch on eBay's end. In my previous videos, I talk about item specifics and the item specifics that eBay is currently focusing on. It has to do a lot with a lot of the things that I sell, electronics, um, you know, we hope you enjoyed this video because I hope that it's helpful for you in your decisions whether you want to go with eBay or the others. We certainly...